dead. I have a dead printer. Canon BG BJCOT color bubble jet printer. I tried installing new ink cartridges. I tried soaking the heads overnight. I just get this. Uh, I get both the orange error light and the green power LED light. They just keep continually blinking and I get about three beeps. Which as far as I'm aware of means that this is not reading the head. Neither my colour head or my high capacity black head. So I have ordered a scanner head. So I'm going to see if I can use it as a scanner, but it hasn't arrived in the post yet. So until then, I'm going to be I'm going to uh, disassemble it. I'm going to take it apart. As I've looked on YouTube, and there doesn't really seem to be any really good videos on how this, how to properly take the shell apart at least. So. The main rule is with the chassis of the BG, BJC80 and similar bubble jet printers is that you've got a single screw, you've got four tabs, you've got one around about there, there, there and there. Now these two can actually be accessed by levering a flathead screwdriver into it. This part and do the screw till I've got a screw loose. Uh, right, so we have this tab, that tab. You can even shine a torch in there, and you can even actually see where the teeth are hooked in there, but I don't think that's going to be quite possible. This can is particular resolution. Basically, we we're going to put this flathead screwdriver in there. Put it in all the way, and then you need to lever it up. And it's going to take a fair bit of prying to do this, and you do need to be careful not to break the tabs because if you break those, uh, trying to make sure that your printer is whole again could be a little harder than you might anticipate. Now this little thing swinging here, that's the infrared connector. That's our primitive form of wireless printer technology. Although as far as I'm aware of, most modern day laptops ain't even going to have an infrared sensor. But yeah, it was a cool option before we had Wi-Fi. So this is uh, quite notorious actually, quite notorious for being... got it. Hopefully without breaking it. Ooh, right. Okay, a bit lucky there. I'm a bit of a klutz. Anyway, if you do try doing this yourself, I do advise you being a little bit more careful. Like this. That's the first clip. So 
third clip and the fourth clip. Now notice that the fourth clip is around a 90 degree angle compared to the other three clips. Alright, so that's basically how you get that apart. Alright, so then we can have a look at this inside. I have my suspicions it's something to do with that or even the data feed between that to the main circuit but we can also see that it's pretty grimy in there so it's probably going to call for um, uh, probably a good old load of this actually That'll probably help a bit, but I think that's something for another day, that sort of cleaning job. Yeah, it's pretty bad. 